If you guys want to pick yourself up some coins for the upcoming team of the season, then check out ufever.com in the description down below. If you use discount code KURT5, you get a whopping 8% off. Amazing discount right there. And also, they're very, very cheap for PlayStation coins right now. So check them out in the link down below. What's up, guys? Curtis here, and welcome to a brand new kind of FIFA 15 sort of series. Today, we're looking at PEZ players in FIFA. Now, I will explain it as we go on, but I do want to say a couple quick things. Firstly, if we could smash 750 likes on this, that would be absolutely amazing. It took so long to actually put all these players together. I will explain in a second how I did it, but uh, yes, if we could smash 750 likes on that, that would be amazing. Also, I started my new series yesterday, Connect for FIFA, so if you missed that, check the link in the description down below or check out the previous episode if you can find it on my channel. It was really fun to do, and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. So, uh, Pez players in FIFA. How did I do it? What I did was I went on to Pez. I basically basically got a load of player stats, I made like a Excel document that will make a formula that I put in particular stats and it makes it for how their stats would be on uh, FIFA. So we look at like speed and agility, speed on the ball, dribbling speed, these sort of things to make pace. Now we're going to get into our first player and I'll kind of explain it as we get along. So first up we have Gabby Ogbonlahor. Now Gabby Ogbonlahor somehow has more pace on Pez. He is actually 6 ratings higher, he's a 79 rating and he's a left wing forward which is essentially a left winger rather than a left midder on left midfielder even on Pez his uh, his pace totals up to 93 paces dribbling is far better at 78 shooting at 78 as well defending does tend to be a lot higher on all of the Pez players his is 53 but that's kind of essentially like the same comparatively his passing is better and his physical is slightly worse now I'm not sure if I'd prefer to have the card with those improvements and it be a gold card but be a left winger I, I feel like I'd rather just keep him as the silver as we do on uh, FIFA at the moment. I think, I, I think that works. I think it means he's used less, but he's also very good if you do get to use him. Next up, we have Victor Ababa, who is essentially a second striker. This is not your main striker, your, your Robin Van Persie's, your Giroud's. It's the player that kind of plays off them, just behind them, almost in what would be a center forward, in ro center forward role on FIFA, but is actually considered the center forward is the main striker on Pez. So we have Ibarbo here. His pace is slightly lower. His rating is actually one less as well. He's got less dribbling, less shooting, uh, more defending as they all tend to do, less passing and uh, less physical. All in all, he's actually not as good on FIFA. Also, uh, oh, not as good on Pez, sorry. I did also try to see if they have like a star skill on Pez. Apparently, every single player is essentially five-star skiller. You can do rainbow flicks with your goalie if you want. Anyone can do any skill you can imagine. Next up, we have a big Ari Kane. This guy is a 75 rated second striker. He uh, doesn't actually look that decent, really. I mean, his p pace is less, his dribbling is less, his shooting is less, his defending of course is better. I feel like almost every attacker has defending around the 50s for some reason on Pez. Uh, his passing is actually slightly better which is odd and his physical is just one less but I feel like that FIFA card obviously with more pace, more shooting, more dribbling it probably just about has the edge on it and again he's a second striker which is almost like the, the centre forward on FIFA which is odd to me because you'd imagine him to be the main striker uh, like he is for Tottenham. Next up we have Felipe Melo. This is one that I thought would be just a really fun one because he's so OP on Pez. But when you compare his stats, he's not really even that much of a difference. So he's an 88 rated one. Seven more than what his FIFA 15 card is. But his pace is only one better. Dribbling's only four better. Shooting is only five better. Defending is only two better. Passing granted is nine better. And his physical is two worse. So I feel like that card does not warrant an 88 that he gets on at Pez. But nonetheless, still a very, very OP card in Indeed, and with those stats, will still be very fun. I'm surprised I haven't used that Mellow card more in actual FIFA. Uh, but I don't know why. Uh, next up, we have Meza Urzel. Meza Urzel is an absolute tank on Pez. He's an 89 rated cam with 79 pace, 87 dribbling, 82 shot, which is 8 more than what he has normally, and I think is way too much. I don't think he's deserving of 82 shot, considering he never wants to actually shoot. He always wants to pass. He has 60 defending, 88 passing, which is just insane, and 69 physical, which I do actually feel is kind of fair, considering how much he's bulked up since January. He's a lot bulkier, uh, but 69 is still quite a lot more than what he has in FIFA, but that still looks like a ridiculously good card, and uh, could you imagine if he got that in FIFA, like with some informs and stuff in cam, it would be so, so overpowered. 
So while scrolling around searching for players to, to put in this with ones that are quite different to their FIFA card, I did find Robin Van Persie, who is a 91, which I found to be just a bit ridiculous. Now, he's down as a centre forward, 91 rating, of course, 83 pace, 82 dribbling, 93 shot, 51 defending, 82 passing, and 79 physical. This card is just ludicrous. Could you imagine how good that card would be in game? But it just, it is so not right. I mean, for a start, Van Persie is having a terrible season, but... 83 pace, 82 dribbling, and 93 shot. It would be absolutely out of this world. But would be one of the best cards to use on FIFA, and I'm sure he's absolutely ridiculous on Pez. So, boys, that is the end of this Pez Players in FIFA episode. We had six in this first one. Let me know who you would like to see in future episodes, because I don't know who to include in them, really. I've got six more that we could do for episode two, but give me some ideas. Who would you like to see what they're like in, uh, in comparison between Pez and FIFA? I hope you guys did enjoy this, though. Have a fantastic day. Remember to smash that like button and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.